Dolly Parton was born January 9th, 1946. She was one of 12 children and grew up poor. Her first exposure to music was because of her family, her mother who played guitar and sang. At the age of 10, she started performing professionally, appearing on TV and radio shows. She released her first single, Puppy Love, in 1959 at the age of 11. Since then, she has had a massive impact on the country music industry. Parton's career took off in 1967. At this time, she partnered with Porter Wagner on The Porter Wagner Show. They became a popular duo and recorded a few country hits together. Her work with Wagner helped her get a contract with RCA Records. In 1971, Parton scored a first number one country hit, Joshua. More number one hits followed her just after in the mid-70s with Jolene and Moore. She had won the Country Music Association Award for Female Vocalist in 1975 and 1976. When Dolly Parton broke out, the industry was dominated by men. While there had been influential female country stars before Parton, like Kitty Wells and Patsy Cline, country music was still very much a man's game. Parton's mainstream success came out in the 60s, an era in which women were demanding to have their voices heard, literally in Parton's case. Long before Taylor Swift parlayed her country music success into a mainstream pop career, Dolly Parton was pioneering the way for crossover country stars. She was one of the earliest country artists to achieve mainstream success. Most of those who had crossed into the mainstream before Parton, such as Elvis Presley, were men. Parton was one of the first established female country stars to take her country pop to the mass market. This led to a backlash in Nashville as people protested that one of their women was leaving country music. In 1980, Dolly got her first acting job on the movie 9 to 5. It helped Dolly earn two Golden Globe nominations for her role. She also penned the theme song which received a Golden Globe for the Best Song Motion Picture and an Oscar for the Best Original Song. Two years after making her acting debut, Parton went on building a career as an actress in the music comedy The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Dolly re-recorded her song I Will Always Love You for this film. The legendary country singer reflects on her role in an interview saying that she always made sure to take parts she could see herself in. I only take parts that are pretty close to my own personality. I have never yet done one of those scenes that was that far-fetched. Parton also has her own Netflix series with eight stories celebrating family, faith, love and forgiveness come to life. In this series, she shares the screen with Julianne Hugh, Kathleen Turner and more in this Emmy-nominated series of stories. Dolly Parton has gone from breaking boundaries as a woman in country music to being a kind-hearted businesswoman. Parton has done it all. She has had 50 Grammy Award nominations, two Guinness World Records, and is the only country artist that has had a top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart for six consecutive decades. She even got a theme park named Dollywood in her honour. Parton has written more than 3,000 songs over her 50-year career. Her song Jolene is played continuously in every country bar in Nashville and her cover of Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You is the most popular version of the track, more than the original. In 1988, Parton formed the Dollywood Foundation to help reduce high school dropouts in her home county of Sevier County, Tennessee. Shortly after, in 1995, she launched a programme called Dolly Parton's Imagination Library to promote literacy among children in Tennessee by sending every child aged five and under a free book. The programme has now grown worldwide, with children in Europe, Australia, even receiving some of the millions of books. After the 2016 wildfires in East Tennessee... Parton held a telethon that raised over 13 million for residents who were hit hard in the fires. Recently, Parton was listed as one of the biggest funders for the COVID-19 vaccine. She announced that she would donate one million 
to the Vanderbilt University Medical Center to aid its research efforts. But I felt so proud to have been a part of that little seed money that will hopefully grow into something great and help to heal this world, Parton said on the BBC One's The One Show. No public figure is perfect, and Dolly Parton certainly isn't. But despite it all, the icon has undoubtedly led a career full of power moves, human efforts and musical mastery that has shaped country music for the better.